Wood's American Gothic from 1930, which more than any other painting has come to represent America and middle America and small town America for many people. Wood said that this was a father and a daughter, but we know that the models were his dentist and his sister. Back in 1930, Grant Wood wanted to paint a picture of rural America. Looking for inspiration, he traveled around the small town of Eldon, Iowa. That's where he spotted this little white house with its unusual top window. The pointed arch reflected the Gothic style of architecture. This work reads both like a satire of the American dream and a celebration of a way of life that was quickly disappearing. And like the Mona Lisa, it became a part of pop culture as well as the art world. The 1960s TV series Green Acres, for example, featured Arthur Douglas and his wife Lisa posing in front of their farm home in Hooterville in a similar fashion. One of my favorite American Gothic parodies is the parody inspired by the Muppets. In this example, the object such as the pitchfork is the same and also the background is very close to the original with a small glimpse of the farm in the background. What makes this different is the woman role and the man role have been switched. Also, instead of the faces being of a man and a woman, they are of Miss Piggy and Kermit. This is an excellent example of a parody. Grant Wood was indeed a Midwesterner, born in Iowa in 1891. After his father's death, when Woods was still a boy, he apprenticed in a metal shop, graduated from high school, and enrolled in the Handicraft Guild of Minneapolis in 1910. Wood was no great fan of cities, and he spent almost his whole life in the Midwest. The land and its people, the politics and personalities of small-town life, were his most enduring subjects. But he was no mere provincial. Grant Wood did study and travel in Europe. And in his compositions and painstaking attention to detail, we can see the influence of northern Renaissance painters such as Van Eyck. 